Pete back and this is part three of my video of my favorite non WWE title belts um, this will be the last one so I hope you've enjoyed the series of videos I enjoyed making them there's some really nice belts in there uh, maybe do a follow-up video part four depending on what comes out and what's uh, what's around in the next uh, few months or whatever so yeah without further ado here's part three like I said hope you enjoyed it and catch you later guys As you saw then, another CZW uh, title, the tag team title this time. Um, again, an, a, another belt that it's so different in its design, um, but it just looks really good. I like the colour scheme, I like the layout of the belt. Uh, there's not too much on it, it's not too fussy, um, it's not too plain. It just, just seems to have everything just just right. Um, again, it's, I've, I have probably seen, I have seen some tag matches uh, for the belt, um, Unfortunately, I can't remember who. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, can't remember who uh, fought in them. Um, but uh, yeah, um, another great belt. Um, I had to put it in my list uh, for the video because, um, like I say, it's CZW is something I've dipped in and out of, so it's a belt I was familiar with. Uh, but yeah, uh, CZW uh, World Tag, um, lovely belt, great design. Um, couldn't not put it in this video. That was the Global Force Wrestling uh, Next Gen Championship. Um, I did say there was a more than one uh, GFW title in here. Um, I think that's a really good belt. Um, I don't know whether Next Gen refers to the fact that it's given to sort of younger end wrestlers who have got the possibility to become future world champions, and so that's why it's the, the Next Generation uh, title. Um, I don't know. Um, I like it. I think it's it's a good belt. It's nice. It's different. Um, like I say, it's a new company, um, so hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see where they go. Um, hopefully, they won't end up like TNA. Um, but yeah, uh, I do really like the uh, the GFW titles. Um, the next gen um, is a really really good belt. I believe it. I I think if I had uh, the money for um, top rope belts to make me one, um, it would be hard to choose between the world and the next gen. Um, I think a lot of people will probably go for the world title, so I might be slightly inclined to go for the next gen just to be different. Um, you know, not as a sort of assholey statement of oh, well, you've all gone world, so I've got to be different and go next gen, but just because I just think it's a nice belt, so it would be hard to choose. Um, if I had the money, I'd get both of them. Obviously, the world and the next gen, uh, money weren't an issue, um, and I had more money than sense. Um, but yeah, uh, the next gen belt is 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 a nice belt. It's a good design. Um. Like I said, I've not seen anything on, uh, you know, seen any actual GFW wrestling, so I don't know if there's any sort of um, specific requirements for the next gen contender, whether they have to be under a certain age or anything. Because, like I said, the name does sort of suggest that it's going to be for the next generation of, you know, like future world champions sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll probably do a bit more research on that, actually. Now I'm sort of, you know, hurts my own interest in it a bit but yeah um another belt has um no doubts about putting in this video uh, even though it is a newish belt um you know in my opinion uh, well worthy of going in this video that was the uh immortal title um a belt um I, I liked when it first came out um but then it sort of grew me a bit more um i really did like the design of it uh, the fact that jeff hardy seemed to have had a major input on it uh, I mean, like, I know, like, Cena had an input on in his spinner belt and Edge had input on his rated R. Uh, and other people have had input on other custom belts. But not everything comes out sort of representing the wrestler um, completely. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, but I do believe that the uh, the Immortal title uh, is one of those. Um, it's not the only Hardy custom belt in this video, so obviously that gives away another belt that's going to be in the video at some point. Uh, but yeah, uh, I loved it. Um, I thought it was a shame that Hardy joined it with Hogan and Bishop, but luckily it was all storyline crap anyway. So, but um, yeah, I liked I liked the belt. It was uh, a really sort of bold statement as a world title. 
Um, but yeah, I'd say it pretty much summed up Hardy. It was very much tailored to him. Uh, I don't know exactly how much input he had on the design, whether it was just a case of, you know, would you like to just throw some ideas our way? Or whether he actually said, look, this is what I want. And, you know, this is how it's going to look. And this is the colour scheme and everything. But everything about that belt just screams Jeff Hardy. Um, like I say, I had absolutely no problem putting it in my video because it, it was uh, one of the first belts I wrote down, I think about the fourth or fifth. Um, there were only a couple of other belts um, above it in the list. So, uh, yeah, um, the Immortal title, um, absolutely gorgeous belt. Um, maybe one day I'll, I'll own one, a top rope belts one, who knows. Um, if a lottery wins in the near future, then yeah, maybe uh, I'll be doing a video about it. But other than that, it'll be a long time before I own one of those Immortal belts. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, I had no absolutely no qualms putting it in this video. Um, love it, just absolutely love the belt. Um, been a big fan of Hardy for a long time. Heel or face. Uh, I just think the guy's good, uh, you know, absolutely great. Uh, I'm glad he got himself sorted out from his problems. Um, but yeah, uh, great belt, great design. Everything about it just screams, you know, a suitable uh, custom title. Did say that the ECW world title wasn't the only one uh, from ECW that was uh, in this video. As you can see uh, here, this is the ECW uh, World Television Championship. Uh, let's give you a little bit of a better look. I'll get it the right way around. Done it again. There you go. That's the ECW World Television Championship. Um, again, not an overly flashy belt. Um, you know, there's nothing fancy about it. Uh, but it just... I loved it. The uh, first time I saw this belt, um, I was like, that's a really nice belt. Uh, it's before I realised replicas were available. Um, and anybody who's seen my uh, video... Uh, the brief history of the ECW TV title uh, will know that some of my um, favourite champions uh, who held this uh, were Rhino. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Rhino. Uh, I think he was the first person that was holding it when I saw it. Um, it was either him or Rob Van Dam. Um, but yeah, uh, another belt. When I, like I said, when I first saw it, I was just like, wow, it's a lovely belt. Um, it easily made it into this video. Um, there was no question, um, along with, uh, you know, the ECW world title, like I said. Um, there is one more, and I'm pretty sure everybody can guess what it is, but, you know, um, it's, uh, I did say that, you know, I liked all three of them, and uh, I did, I, I absolutely loved them. Um, so, yeah, uh, ECW world television title uh, makes it into my favourite non-WWE uh, title belts. And last but not least, the ECW uh, World Tag Team title. Um, again, when I got into w, uh, ECW even, um, this belt, I, I was blown away by all three of the title belts. Um, it was amazing to me that a company that was as relatively small as it was, um, sort of like, compared to WWF, WCW, I suppose, pretty much everything looked small. Um, but, yeah, to a company that you know was as small as it was, I was amazed by how nice all three title belts were. You know, the, the tags, the world, and the, you know, the secondary title, which in their case was the TV title. Um, I loved everything about this belt. I just think it's a great, great belt. Um, I'll see if I can get you a little bit of a close up for those of you who've never seen it. Um, I just love that the centre plate has like the uh, circular saw vibe about it. Um, and then there's obviously the mesh fencing there. Um, I just love it. I love the colour scheme, the red and black. I just think it's a great, great belt. Um, all three of these uh, replicas that are on this video are all adult size. Uh, it's just a, com a combination of um, ECW replicas being quite small um, and the fact that I'm quite big. So it does look a lot smaller than it would on anybody else, um, really. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, another belt. Absolutely love the design, uh, like I've said. Uh, the circular saw blade. I think just made it look like a, a hardcore wrestling federation's title, um, which uh, you know may not be the best way to describe BCW. I mean, it was known for its hardcore wrestling and its you know violent matches and stuff. But yeah, um, I say another title belt. I, when I was writing down uh, belts to put in this video, um, there was absolutely no doubt this was going to be in. Um, absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, that's the ECW um, World uh, Tag Team Title. 
what can I say about that belt? Um, I would love to have that belt. That is that the JCW um, and one of the other belts and the IWGP and uh, the three belts I would donate body organs for. Um, absolutely gorgeous belt. I loved it from the first moment he debuted it. I was like, yeah, that's just again it's it's up there as, as custom belts go when custom belts are matched to a, a wrestler that is just jay briscoe uh, i love that belt um and to say i would donate a kidney or anything to have one of those to have that belt or a replica of it um i was a bit disappointed when the replica being of honor replica belts came out um that there was no option of a jay briscoe world title that would sound like hot cakes and that would be the first belt uh, i would order before anything uh, i love that belt so much um it i just honestly can't think of anything else that i can say about it uh, absolutely love it if i had to give it a rating out of 10 it'd be 10 five stars whatever um I, I just love it i know it's not everybody's taste and some people think oh you know shouldn't be walking around the custom title they should stick to the company title and blah blah blah, blah. um but you know it's some wrestlers just think you know what screw it i'm gonna have a custom belt and jay briscoe which is the case if you know what in his words probably in his mind probably thinking thought fuck it i'm having one um so yeah um he uh he, he just couldn't have picked a better design uh i love it absolutely love it and anybody who knows me knows how much i love that belt uh i'm gonna say when i first found out ring of honor replicas were going to be coming out i was i had everything that i could cross crossed that there'd be a jay briscoe custom uh unfortunately it never happened but it may in the future uh, i really hope it does because i would love one um, so yeah, uh, Jay Briscoe, custom ring of honor world title, absolutely amazing belt. I love it to bits. It is one of my personal favorites. Like I say, it's in the top three uh, belts I would love to uh, own, um, alongside the IWGP, uh, the current version, and the um, JCW World. Uh, it's a ring of honor, uh, Jay Briscoe custom. Absolutely love it. Great belt. TNA tag team titles. Um, I've liked those since they were introduced. Uh, absolutely love the design, love everything about them. Um, I liked the NWA um, tag titles. And anybody who's seen my NWA tag video will know that I do have a replica of that. Um, that NWA tag didn't make this video, uh, but uh, you know it wasn't for anything against the belt. These are just belts that I just really, really like. And the uh, TNA tag title uh, is just a gorgeous belt why tna never decided to make replicas of this these sorry are the x division uh, is absolutely beyond me they they would have sold like hot cakes um so you know i mean they may decide in the future uh, if they're around long enough to do replicas of the uh, the tag titles and maybe the old x division not the current one uh, i don't think i think the current one's boggly um, but yeah, the TNA tag titles, uh, lovely design, very similar to the Ring of Honor tag, um, I feel. Um, but that's not a bad thing, um, as you'll probably have realised. Um, so yeah, um, another belt, when I was writing the list of belts I wanted to put in, uh, was one that I didn't even have to sort of look for. Um, some of the images I just sort of typed in belts and then found out, you know, look for ones that stuck out. But the majority of these belts were ones that I was aware of. Um, or a company that at least I was aware of. So the TNA tag titles, again, um, it was in the top five belts, something like that, you know, that I wrote down before. Um, I'd even started looking for more like obscure titles that um, I'd realized I'd seen at some point or whatever. But yeah, uh, I love a TNA tag replica. Um, I hopefully, like I've said, they will become available at some point, but yeah, a great design um nothing flashy nothing gaudy just you know does what it says uh does everything that it has to do um and uh, i absolutely love the design i've done since i first saw it so yeah um i had no problems putting that in the video at all uh, another ring of honor title there the tag titles um again i love both designs the old school designs and the uh, current designs um i believe there was another version in between uh, that was similar to <coughs> in design to the world title um again i'm not a massive fan uh did like them uh, didn't dislike them you know but um uh, didn't like them as much as the classic and current title uh versions um again um i would 
love one day to be doing an unboxing of the replica of the current tag title. Um, I don't believe the classic tags are available as replicas. I know you can have them made or you could have them made through Ring of Honor. Um, but again, um, I don't have thousands of pounds to be dropping on belts. So, you know, it's probably just going to be a pipe dream. Um, but yeah, uh, lovely belts. Both designs uh, are uh, absolutely amazing. Um, the classic one's a bit, like I say, uh, it's very similar to the world title. Um, which, you know, I suppose makes everything easier. In fact, I believe the world uh, title, the tag title and the pure title were all pretty much the same design. They just had different names on the front. Um, so, yeah, um, that was another another great belt, uh, the Ring of Honor uh, world tag team titles. Second of the Jeff Hardy custom belts, uh, the Legacy Noir title. Um, that's the one he started carrying around um, after he beat, uh, I believe it was Austin Aries for the title, he carried that round along with the uh, Wildcat TNA. Um, I've mentioned that in a, my uh, one of my videos. I'm sure I have. Um, but yeah, um, I liked the Immortal one, but the Legacy Noir um, was just. I don't know. There's something about that one that I just think is a bit nicer than the Immortal. Uh, I think it's because the the strap is a plain black. So I think, you know, and it's a bit toned down. I mean, I love the Immortal belt. Um, like I said, I, I think that sums up Jeff Hardy completely. But um, that Legacy belt, it's just got something else to it. It's just a really nice belt. Um, it's not subtle, but I, I don't think it's gaudy. That's my personal opinion. A lot of people hated it. A lot of people hated the uh, Immortal. But it's just one of those things. Um, I, I love them. Uh, but I, I think out of the two, I do slightly prefer um, the uh, Legacy Noir one. Um, lovely belt. Uh, again, it's another belt. I, I, if I had the money, I'd probably be in touch with Top Rock Belts and you know finding out if I could have one. Uh, but yeah, uh, lovely belt. Um, would definitely have one if when there were uh, no option, you know, no, no problem. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love that belt. Um, great belt. Uh, another class, Jess, Jeff Hardy, sorry, Jess, Jeff Hardy custom. Um, another Ring of Honor belt, um, singles title, um, the pure title. Um, I love uh, the fact that, like I've said, all three of the Ring of Honor main titles were pretty much identical in design. They just had different things on the plates that made them what they were. Um, the pure title was a great idea. Um, some great wrestlers held that, and Samoa Joe held it. Um, Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan, held it. Uh, Nigel McGuinness, who I will mention time and time again in anything related to Ring of Honor. Um, like I say, I was late getting into Ring of Honor. Uh, I've kind of lost touch with the current product, but I have every intention of getting back into it completely. You know, catching up on the classic Ring of Honor. Um, but yeah, uh, Nigel McGuinness, uh, probably one of my favourite guys to hold it, um, up there with Brian Danielson. And like I said, and Joe. Um, so yeah, uh, another sort of very under understated belt. You know, nothing glitzy or glamorous about it, but you know, it it did what it said on the tin. It did ev everything it had to do. Um, very very appropriate for the uh, the title. You know, for the pure title to be just a, a very very basic design. Uh, so yeah, uh, I had no qualms about putting this one in my video either. Um, another great vi uh, belt that I I like. Uh, so yeah, the Ring of Honor, uh, pure title. And obviously that was the TNA uh, Legends title, Global title, TV title, King of the Mountain title, uh, whatever other names it's had. Um, at first, when I first saw the belt, um, I liked the belt. Um, didn't hold the guy old and it dubbed himself the Legends champion, Booker T. Never been a fan. Uh, I know that's probably going to get me some heat off people out there who are big Booker T fans. I personally have never never found him interesting in the slightest uh but yeah um i love the belt uh, even though it's had so many name changes um i think it's uh it's got enough glitz about it that it's not quite you know like gaudy in design it's got enough about it um you know the the amount of jewels and everything is just seems to be a right amount of everything in that belt it just seems to be really well designed um 
again, it's a shame TNA never made replicas of it. Um, otherwise, that is one I would have snapped up along with the uh, the X division and the uh, tag title. Um, so I've not seen. I know it's referred to as the King of the Mountain title now. And, um, as I do this video, uh, Bobby Roode is the holder of it. Uh, I don't know if that's changed, uh, and if it has, I apologise. But I say as a filming this video right now, Bobby Roode is the the holder of that King of the Mountain title. Uh, but yeah, um, great belt, um, great design, just everything about it. I just really liked it. Um, just a shame it's had so many different name changes. But I suppose that's just one of the things. It's it's TNA, you know. Can't expect any major consistency. So uh, yeah, uh, another belt. I had absolutely no issues with putting in my video. Uh, it wasn't even one that I sort of wrote down and then crossed out to put in to keep the video as short as possible. Um, absolutely love it. And so yeah, um, the Ring of Honor, uh, TNA, sorry, uh, King of the Mountain, TV Global, whatever you want to call it, Legends title, um, definitely. Uh, in my opinion, uh, one of the nicest uh, title belts um, out there. Next belt on the list, uh, NWA TNA X Division title. Um, like I said in my X Division title uh, belt video, if you've seen it, um, absolutely loved this belt from the first time I saw it on uh, TNA programming. Um, again, it was when I found out replicas were available. It was a case of I have to have one. Uh, again, another one it took me a while to get, uh, but I finally got it. Um, I do also like the uh, version that went after this one, um, the with the just big round, but obviously they never did replicas of those, so never got to buy one. Um, but yeah, it is a close tie-up. But I just like this belt. I just like the whole, um, the whole layout of it. I'll show you a bit better. There you go. It's like the whole dual plated element. Um, this belt is quite an old belt, um, and it is the only belt I possess. As those of you have seen my. Um, video will know that is autographed um not a fan of autographs on belts um each to their own you know obviously everybody has an opinion and a right to do with their replicas as they please but i've never been bothered about you know getting any signed or anything like that but when this one uh came available and it was signed by aj styles um just to me and if you've seen my other videos you'll know how much of a styles fan i am um it was an absolute no-brainer um to get it um so yeah um when again another one when I was writing down making notes of the you new know, and the belts I'd like to put in um, this was an absolute no-brainer absolutely love the belt um, lovely design um, one of the very few belts um, that I have in replica form um, that my dad actually likes um, but I think he remembers it from when we used to watch TNA and AJ Styles used to carry it around um, I think that's more of a nostalgia thing for my dad uh, but yeah uh, absolutely loved the belt, loved the design. Um, so yeah, uh, it was an like I say, an absolute no-brainer that this belt was going to make the video. So yeah, uh, it's another one of my entries is the uh, NWA TNA X Division title. Uh, but like I said, um, it also does include the version uh, that uh, came after this, um, the, the just round one. Uh, which, like I said again, if they made replicas, I would have had one by now. Um, but unfortunately, TNA never did so. Um, yeah, the second TNA title, even though I suppose it's a classic, technically NWA TNA, but yeah, um, like I say, no brainer, had to put it in, love it, simple but great design. Obviously guys, no uh, belt video would have been complete without that, the NWA World Heavyweight title, uh, or the £10 of gold, um, absolutely love that belt, I used to have a replica of it, um, but mine was the version without the grommets on the strap. Um, I would love one day to have uh, a replica of that one, that version, uh, especially seeing as it's the one that uh, Christian carried around uh, when he was uh, the champion when uh, NWA TNA were together. Um, but yeah, uh, absolutely classic design held by so many great wrestlers. Uh, Ric Flair, Harley Race, Terry Funk, to name three off the top of my head. So many great wrestlers have held that belt. Um, it's, uh, you read the history of it, it's pretty much like a who's who of uh, wrestling. Um, but yeah, there was no way that I could have included that belt in the video. Um, it would have been an absolute travesty. Um, and I think I would probably have been lynched by a lot of people um, if I hadn't have put that in there. Um, like I say, it's, it's just such a classic belt. It's up there for, um, <coughs> excuse me, long, long, longevity uh, with the, the big gold design. 
um, which was obviously used by NWA, then WCW, and then WWE. Um, but yeah, the uh, NWA World's Heavyweight is an absolutely gorgeous belt. Uh, like I say, I would one day own, like to own, sorry, um, a version of it with the grommets on and everything. Um, it's just a great belt. So uh, yeah, I have to put that in the list. Uh, I couldn't not, uh, given its history and the fact that basically it is another belt that I love the design of. It's very simple, uh, but it goes back to a day where belts weren't flashy. You know, they were just simply, you know, just there to show you what the world champion was carrying and no belt does that better uh, than the uh, the NWA. So yeah, had to put that in the video. Uh, love it, absolutely classic, like I've said, design. Um, so yeah, uh, love that belt. 